Viewers, welcome back to Farmdipedia. Today, our topic is case presentation on neurocysticercosis. Neurocysticercosis. It is a parasitic infection caused by the tinea solium larvae. Tinea solium is also called as poke tapeworm. Neurocysticercosis is the most common cause of acquired epilepsy, which can be seen in developing countries where pigs are raised. The most common causes of neurocysticercosis includes accidental ingestion of tinea solium X through contaminated food or air and ingestion of undercooked meat or raw vegetables. Here we notice some lesions which are produced by tinea solium larvae. So this is the transverse section of the brain and this is the MRI reports of the brain showing the lesions produced by the larval stages of tinea solium. Symptoms of neurocysticercosis. The most common symptom which we see in this disease is seizures. Headaches, hydrocephalus, altered mental status, neurological deficits and vomitings are other symptoms of neurocysticercosis. Life cycle of cysticercosis. As we discussed earlier that the main reason for the cysticercosis is the accidental ingestion of tinea solium X. So if these eggs are ingested by the pig, the pig gets affected with this disease. And if human being consumes this infected pork meat, he acquires this infection. The cysticercosis may develop in any part of the body, especially in subcutaneous tissues, brain and eye. A 27-year-old male patient with no comorbidities is admitted due to chief complaints of generalized tonic-clonic seizures in the morning for which he remained in tonic posture then continued with post-ictal period which was lasted for 5 minutes. He has a history of restlessness from past 2 to 3 days. On physical examination, vital signs was found to be normal. Provisional Diagnosis as the patient got admitted due to the chief complaints of seizures, we need to evaluate the root cause of the seizures. To evaluate, we need to do investigations like CBP, serum electrolytes, ESR, MRI brain, etc. CBP report is investigated to find out any infections or any deficiencies and serum electrolytes is advised to find out any electrolyte abnormalities and ESR to rule out any inflammations. CPP report reveals that WBC is slightly increased and lymphocytes got decreased which indicates that there is a presence of parasitic infection and ESR is slightly elevated which indicates the presence of inflammation. MRI brain was advised to find out the root cause of the seizures. It reveals the small calcified ring-like lesions with edema in the left posterior parietotemporal subcortical white matter region. Final diagnosis. So from the subjective evidences that is generalized tonic-clonic seizures, headache and vomiting and from the objective evidence that is calcified lesion in left parietal region, it is confirmed that the patient is suffering from neurocysticercosis. Treatment. Injection Leviteracetam 500 mg twice a day. It is an anti-epileptic drug given to treat seizures. This anti-epileptic drug inhibits the calcium channels present in the presynaptic neuron, inhibits the neurotransmitter release, thereby reducing the nerve impulse conduction. Injection Pantoprazole. 40 mg once in a day. It is a proton pump inhibitor which inhibits proton pump which is present in the gastric parietal cells. It is used to treat gastric irritation caused by the drugs. Injection Optineuron is a multivitamin given as a vitamin supplement. Tablet Albendazole 400 mg twice a day. 
it is an antihelminthic and a drug of choice for this disease it is used to treat tinea solium infection this albendazole binds to the beta tubulin protein of the parasite and restricts its movement thereby leading to the death of the parasite injection dexamethasone 4 mg thrice a day it is a corticosteroid used to treat inflammation or edema caused due to the presence of larval stages of tinea solium in the brain day wise assessment on day 1 patient is with complaint of new onset of seizures headache and vomiting mri brain was advised and started on injection levetiracetam 500 mg iv by sedate due to the presence of seizures and injection pantoprazole 40 mg iv once a day injection optineuron 1 ampule iv once a day on day 2 mri brain reports revealed granuloma or ncc in left posterior parieto temporal subcortical white matter region and was advised with injection dexamethasone 4 mg iv thrice a day and tablet albendazole 400 mg by a day and planned for discharge day 3 on examination patient's vital stable and was advised to continue the same treatment and to get discharge today discharge medications are tablet pantoprazole 40 mg once a day tablet albendazole 400 mg by a day for 4 weeks and tablet dexamethasone 4 mg by a day for 1 week tablet levetiracetam 500 mg by a day for 6 months usually anti epileptics are prescribed in neurocystic psychosis for 6 months up to 2 to 2 years pharmacist interventions no drug interactions were found in this case and the tablet albendazole should be taken along with the fatty meals as this fatty meals increases the absorption of the drug from the gastrointestinal tract thereby increasing its bioavailability and thereby its therapeutic outcome long term use of steroids may have risk of causing adrs like cataract glaucoma weight gain alopecia etc patient counseling the simple measures to be taken to prevent neurocystic psychosis is by not consuming uncovered unhealthy foods raw and undercooked meat and by washing your hands properly after using washrooms and maintain a proper personal hygiene and sanitation and to drink fresh boiled water to avoid the infection there is a risk of transmission from tinnitus infected people so we need to take a preventable measures to avoid the infection thank you for watching our video we will be back again with another interesting topic please subscribe like share and comment farmdpedia thank you